Hey guys, Shane here. So, just as with the LCD on your Phenom, your FEP sheet on your VAT is also a consumable item. So over time, it will wear thin. Um, it could stretch out. You could get little divots or dents in there, or it could tear. And you'll need to change it. So in this video, I'm going to sit there and show you just how to change the FEP sheet on your VAT so then you can sit there and continue to print some really cool stuff. Some signs that your FEP sheet needs to be changed out could be that your prints are not sticking to the build platform instead of just sticking more to the actual FEP. Other signs could be some divots or dents that are on the FEP sheet. So you could have some tears or anything else in it. So now that we're ready to get set and change out the FEP sheet, let's get to it. Okay, for this part, there's no set way to remove the bolt. But what you want to do is you want to sit there and either by hand or by sound, you want to get a feel for the tension that's already on there. It's not extremely tight where it doesn't flex, but if you listen to it, you want to have something there to give you a little reference to. So, you know, you can either use this video or, you know, record one off your phone and just to get an idea of the tension, right? So as I said, you want to start taking off the bolts. Now you want to be careful just in case if they're stuck in there very good. You don't want to strip the bolts out because it would be a big pain in the backside to get them undone. So it's fairly easy for this. You just start on one side. And again, you want to have a little container or something so you can put your bolts into so they don't, you don't lose any. Now, once you get to this point, you want to be a little bit careful because you're going to want to take this metal bracket off. And since it's, pre it's been held down by all these bolts, it can be a little bit tricky. Now, for example, if you have one side, one corner of it that's sticking up, you could just use your finger press up and just lift it off like so. Or what you can try to do is use your Allen key to try to put it in, embrace it, and then lift it up carefully. Now, what you want to try to do is move it around to different sides of it so you can get to it. And what you also want to do is don't use a really good one because you could possibly bend it. So once you have it off, you're going to take off the retention frame and just check it out, make sure that it's all okay and put it off to the side. To get the, the FEP sheet off, it's fairly easy. You just take a corner of it. And again, since we're replacing this, we don't have to be too concerned about any tears or anything else like that. And what I just did was I used the spatula to kind of lift up the corner of it and just peel it back. And it's off. And what you'll notice is with the old one, you could have some resin that's still on there that was underneath the frame. So you want to be careful with this and put it off to the side to dispose of it. And what you can also do at this stage is, as you can see with here, there, and along the edges here, there's some built up residue that's still on there and on retention frames. So what you can do is put on some gloves, get some IPA alcohol and wipe it down. And again, you just want to make sure that there's no resin left on the edges here that could interfere when you're setting up the new FEP sheet. You just want to clean the retention frame. Now on this retention frame here, there's really no difference as far as, you know, which corner goes where or anything else. But you do want to make sure that the bevel is going down into the vat itself. You don't want to do it like this because the bolts will never go down 
and you will scratch the hell out of the the LCD. Okay, so for now, we are all set to put the FEP sheet on there. Now, when you get your FEP sheet, with the one that came with the printer, it's going to come in a roll of paper like this, and I'll have a sticker that will say film. And I kind of already did it, but what you want to do is just cut the tape right there, there and there. You don't want to um, cut into the paper just in case, because you can see right here, there's the FEP sheet. So if I were to cut into the paper, I would have cut into the sheet itself. So carefully unroll it. And there should be two of them in there. And you can see the corner here. So peel it back. And then loosely roll this one back up and put it off to the side. And you want to take the frame off. And you want to lay it on top of the, the vat like this. So there's a bit of an overhang across the edges all around. And then what you do is you're going to carefully lay this on there. And you want to give each corner a little bit of a pull to make sure that it's on there good enough. And then you want to make sure that the retention frame is evened up. Now, when you're bolting this on, what you want to do is you want to take something that you can poke a hole with. Because what, you don't want to sit there and poke it with the bolt because you can tear it and sag it. You just need a small little um, hole in there just to get it started. Because then what you're going to do is when you're tightening this up, you want to do it in a crisscross pattern. So you don't want to go all the way around like you did it before when you were taking the bolts off. You want to sit there and it's almost like taking the tire off of a car. You start from one side, go to the opposite side, the opposite side, the opposite side. And you keep doing that pattern all the way around. So that way you can get the tension spread evenly across the sheet. And when you're tightening it down, you want to be careful that you don't strip the bolt at all. So now that I got this part started, I don't want it super tight just so I can work it around the other side of it. But I'm going to do this opposite side now. So I just make sure that it's there. And again, I don't want to tighten it all the way down because I want to get these other corners here. And if there's too much tension or not enough or unevenly, I can correct it. So for example, you can see right there's a little bit of a, of a dip. I can take this opposite side, hold it down. Get my hole started. And then on the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. Get my finger right there just to hold in place. Make sure that it's still nice and smooth. Also, as you just saw, while you're working, you want to be careful with your tools that you don't puncture or stretch or damage the sheet at all. And then I just go around and tighten it just still enough so it holds it in place. So now that we have the four corners bolted down, there's two different ways you could do this. You could go from here to here to here to here and then work on that star pattern. Or what you could do is you get the four corners down, you put one in the middle here, here, there, and there, and then you can continue to bolt it down. The important thing is that when you're bolting it down, you want to make sure that whatever side you're doing, you're doing the opposite side. So if I put one here, I'm doing there. And then just keep on going around and around and around just so it has equal tension on opposite sides. And again, you want to check it after each bolt to make sure that it's still nice and tense. Because then if it isn't, you can stop and try to correct it.
Now, one thing you'll notice that I'm doing is that I'm holding the bolt with my hand and then keep my fingers around there while I'm tightening it down because I don't want the Allen key to slip, fall, and puncture the FEP sheet. And you have to redo it. So you want to work carefully with this. Now that we have them all in there, what you want to make sure is that they're all tightened down enough where the bolts are countersunk. You want to make sure that the head of the bolts are not sticking higher than the retention frame here. Because what will happen is you could do that. <clears throat> For example, this one here is sticking up a little bit. If I was to put that in there, I could scratch my LCD. So you, you want to make sure that all of them are tightened up enough and their count is sunk and that they're tight enough. You don't need to crank them down so they're incredibly tight. It's good and snug because if you have enough tension all around there, all around the frame, it's going to hold it in there good enough and you're not going to get any leakage. Now that you have it all attached and held down, you want to cut away this excess FEP. And what you can do is you can cut along the seam between the frame and the actual vat. And again, we checked it to make sure it's all nice and tight so we don't have to worry about it shifting. So you can either use an X-Acto knife or a utility knife. You just obviously want to be careful so that you don't cut yourself. And there you go. A nice brand new, clean installed bat with new FEP sheet on it. Now that you have it all attached and held down, you want to cut away this excess FEP. And what you can do is you can cut along the seam between the frame and the actual vat. And again, we checked it to make sure it's all nice and tight so we don't have to worry about it shifting. So you can either use an X-Acto knife or a utility knife. You just obviously want to be careful so that you don't cut yourself. And there you go. A nice brand new clean installed bat with new FEP sheet on it. So now that that's all done, you should have a brand new re fept bat. <clears throat> so once you have this all set and good to go, put it right back in your printer. Now, what you could do is just double check the leveling, make sure it's all nice and set still. And as a suggestion, you could sit there and print a small test object to make sure everything is fully set and you're good to go before you start on a larger print. Now, <clears throat> if you have any further questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If there's anything I can do to help extra, please let me know. Other than that, enjoy your phenom. Ciao, guys.